<laughs> Wait, how do you feel about um, adding on to your dad's legacy? Like, yeah. For me, he was a figure of 90. I'm, I was 87, so for me, a dad's yeah. image is always my face. Yeah. Um, so when I heard when I heard that you were his son, that, that's, that blew my mind. Like, I was like, I had a million questions for you. Um, how do you feel about you know, creating your own legacy, but also adding on to your dad's story? Yeah. Well, um, it, that was a big thing for me kind of when I was starting wrestling because I'm obviously very proud of my dad and what he did and all that. But I never wanted to be Luke Perry's son in that sense. What, what I meant is I didn't want to be getting things that other people should be getting or that I don't deserve because of that. And so I kind of I made a choice not to go under my real name. And to, I mean, Jungle Boy is kind of as far away from Hollywood as you can get. <laughs> you know, I don't talk, it's, it's all that. So, to be able to do that and be successful without that uh, was really important to me. And so, uh, you know, just to be here and now to be able to do my own thing, that that's pretty much all I've ever wanted. Really proud of Thank you, man. I remember going up to visit my dad on the set of Riverdale, and he was always kind of bitching about it. He's like, oh, I gotta work and all this. And I went up there and I saw the trailer. I was like, you come in here in this trailer, you get breakfast, you get makeup done with a bunch of pretty ladies around you. I, I was driving in a car eight hours and getting my ass kicked and making 50 bucks and driving eight hours back. And I was like, you got 50 bucks? Uh, that, that was two years in. And there's a story of you saying that yes. when you were seven, basically, you yeah. told your dad, that's what I want to do. Yeah, I, yeah, I, um, when I was a little, yeah, the first time I saw wrestling was with my dad, and I kind of knew that's what I wanted to do. And um, I remember I used to go out on my trampoline in my backyard with my sister. And that's where I learned most of my moves. Um, and my parents weren't crazy about that. <laughs> and I remember I was in fourth grade, and uh, my teacher got a call. And he said, Jack, you need to go to the office. And everyone was like, ooh. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, what's going on? <laughs> and I got my bag, and I went to the office, and my dad was there in the office. And he's like, all right, come on, we're leaving. And he took me that day to my first ever wrestling lesson. I had to get out of school early, which was sick. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that was my first ever wrestling class. Was it a local thing? Or yeah, like there was a guy. His name was Rick Drazen. He was an old wrestler from the 80s. But he had a ring in his backyard, and he ran classes. His backyard. Yeah. Yeah. It, not like backyard wrestling. <laughs> but he, it was easier for him to have in his yard. But, yeah, my, my dad, my mom too, but they, they would take me every single week, pay 50 bucks for me to take a class. Uh, you know, they, they've been in the dirtiest warehouses all over <laughs> Los Angeles, shitty little bars and things watching me wrestle. So my family's always been super supportive, and I, I don't think I'd be here without them. Check if you made it clear to the promoters at AEW that you don't want that association with dad, that you want to make sure because promoters will obviously exploit anything to get, you know, get yeah. publicity. I'm um, just curious if that's more. With AEW, that's never been an issue. That was more of a thing coming up in the independence. I had a, gotcha. I had a lot of people tell me that, uh, like, like my character was too silly for their show. And a lot of people said, we want you to be yourself and use your name. And I, I, I knew what that meant. So it was really important to me to come up and get here without it. Obviously, I'm not gonna just start going by that now, but you know, it's not a secret. I'm not trying to hide it from people. It's just, I don't want that to be the first, the, the prefix of my name, you know? But it is what it is. I'm proud of him and all, you know, everything he's done, so, you know. Are there lessons that you've take, you took from from dad, like yeah, acting and? Oh and, no! Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> no. What you know? He just kind of glean things from him. Yeah, there, there's. It, it kind of. Have you seen this guy photo shoot? <laughs> oh no, that's the worst. I can't. Um, Natural. I was kind of saying this over there. The main thing, I guess, I would say, my dad taught me, is he always told me he's like, be as nice as you can to everyone that you can, and. Um, that, that was something I was really proud of with my dad. Because, you know, s seeing other famous, some people are not the nicest. And with people who are fortunate enough to be successful in what they love to do, there's no reason not to be nice. We're literally here living our dream. 